Hi, I am Dr. Sadin. Today, in this video, I am going to talk about wound maturation and wound remodeling. Uh, there are altogether three stages in the cutaneous wound healing process. The stage of wound maturation and wound remodeling is the third and the final stage. The stage of wound maturation and wound remodeling can start as early as three days and it can last as long as two years. Wound maturation is defined as replacement of type 3 collagen fibers by type 1 collagen fibers. In the stage 2 of wound healing process, type 3 collagen fibers are deposited in the wound space. But in stage 3, these type 3 collagen fibers are replaced by type 1 collagen fibers because type 1 collagen fibers are stronger. Remodeling of wound has two processes. The first process is parallel rearrangement of disorganized collagen fibers. In the second stage of wound healing process, collagen fibers are deposited haphazardly in the wound space. The second process of remodeling of wound is cross-linking of collagen fibers with each other. In the illustration on the right side, you can see collagen fibers deposited in a haphazard manner. In the remodeling process, these haphazardly arranged collagen fibers are arranged in parallel to each other. Parallel arrangement of collagen fibers increases the strength of the network of collagen fibers. To increase the strength even more, there is cross-linking of collagen fibers. In the illustration, the network of collagen fibers on the left, left side has less cross-linking and the network of collagen fibers on the right side has more cross-linking. So the collagen fibers on the right side are stronger. Now this is an electron microscopic photograph. This photograph shows disorganized collagen fibers. Uh, on the right side, there is another electron microscopic photograph. This photograph shows parallel arrangement of collagen fibers and cross-linking between the collagen fibers. Now in conclusion, wound maturation is defined as replacement of type 3 collagen fibers by type 1 collagen fibers. Remodeling of wound has two components. The first component is uh, collagen fibers are arranged parallel to each other in the own space. And the second component of remodeling of wound is the collagen fibers are cross-linked with each other. The objective of wound maturation and wound remodeling is to increase the tensile strength of the wound. However, even after maximal wound maturation and wound remodeling, the healed wound has uh, only up to 80% uh, of tensile strength of normal skin. I have shown two tables here. 
which table do you think is stronger? I hope you get the right answer. The table on the right side is stronger. And I think you know why that table is stronger. Thank you for watching my video. Please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my video.